I'm so glad you joined me today. I did this. I made this. You can make it too. Let's go. It's a little house with a flower and then a bird's nest in front. And I'm gonna show you how to make it all. And don't worry, you can do it. And then I made these wood tags. One has a bunny on and one has flowers. I'm gonna zhuzh them up a bit, so don't miss. You gotta stick right till the end. Today, I used my scorch paint on this bunny. I used my new scorch paint, but don't worry, you don't have it yet because it's not in, it's not in production yet. You can use black paint. You can stipple the black paint and any bunny will do. Any bunny, any bunny, some bunny. You gotta love some bunny. So, I'm, I hope when you're here, you're inspired and motivated. And you know what? Done is better than perfect. Don't be intimidated. Don't worry about, oh, I don't know how to do that or I can't do that. You can do it. You've got this. Let's do this together. I'm participating in a challenge today. It is crafted by Corey. Um, it's a mini challenge. So I guess these are minis depending on your perception. Depending on your perception, these are minis, right? Don't forget to check out Corey, crafted by Corey, and the playlist. Go give them some love. Give them some support. There's going to be some creative. There's going to be some amazing projects today. This out on my miter saw, but you can use Dollar Tree. They have some houses like this. They have some cute houses. Just do a whitewash. And I just hot glued a flower. And then for the bird's nest, I took a cupcake a cupcake container from the Dollar Tree and I hot glued some sawdust. Yes, the sawdust, not my fingers. I had lots of gloves on this time. And then hot glued some, I have cedar sawdust here that's free for me, but you can use like Exceller or um, Raffia or even go outside and get some grasses from outside. That would be pretty cool. I whitewashed it and then I stippled on with my Cricut stencil I stippled on the scorch paint so I took the Cricut stencil and and uh, stippled it on and then I painted over top of it with a whitewash I'm I'm losing it I'm losing it so that's what the you know what I'm gonna keep the bloopers in and done is better than perfect you know you just do things out of habit or you just do it without thinking and I don't want you to think that oh yeah she's perfect and she did this she did this uh, she does she's so artsy fartsy you know what I'm not you can do this What you do is it's science and art mixed together. My favorite. I love science and art coming together. The scorch paint is so crazy. You get it on there and nothing happens. Jelly on a board, nothing. It's like banging on the table. <laughs> That's what she said. What, what? And then you add heat and then the science this is where the science comes in. The heat activates the scorch paint. So you heat it up and whoa, no way. It magically appears. The project is revealed. But don't worry, if you don't have scorch paint, then just use black, use black or brown stippled acrylic paint. No worries, use what you have. And then I needed a bit more definition. I kind of screwed it up. So I needed a bit more definition and I got the paint pen in. And what did I do? The first thing I did was a big blob of black paint 
And lo and behold, it ended up, it landed right where the eyeball was. It's like, all right, okay, it's an eyeball. <laughs> Call it done. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Crisis avoided. Crisis avoided. So let's have fun today. You know what? This is a house. I screwed up and painted it on the wrong one. <laughs> These are my little houses. And my tag. Which one do you like the best? The house? The smaller house? The wood tag? Or the nest? Hey, smash my subscribe button, ring my bell, and let's chat. You, me, down below. Let's chat. I'm Chatty Kathy. Come on. Come on back for more. Have a creative, inspired, and safe week. Love you, bye.